It is one of the big pushes from the governor, getting more funding for early childhood education. Well, that proposal cleared the Senate Finance Committee, but not before going through some big changes today. News 13's Rachel Knapp is here to explain. Originally, the plan was to take 1% from the land grant permanent fund to go towards early childhood education. But now that's been increased by a quarter of a percent. Clearly, our, our work over the last 10 years has been to build that early childhood education system from zero up until five years of age. Um, but that, you know, that doesn't mean that we we also shouldn't uplift um, children once they're they're in school. The State Investment Council says the 1.25% is worth roughly $245 million from that permanent fund. About $127 million would go towards early childhood education. $84 million would go towards kindergarten through 12th grade education for things like extending the school year, programs for at-risk students, and teacher compensation. Officials say the remaining amount would go towards other beneficiaries of that permanent fund, like for the School for the Deaf and NIMI, just to name a couple. Proponents for this have made several attempts to push it through the roundhouse for years and today this version of the bill was passed out of a committee on a party line vote. We didn't vote it this way because we don't care about children. We voted this way because we do care about children. This is just the wrong path to go down. For years those opposed have cautioned about dipping even more into the 22 billion dollar land grant permanent fund. It now heads to the Senate floor for debate. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Rachel. Now, if passed by the Senate, it would have to go back to the House for approval of those changes. Voters would then get to decide if they approve dipping into that land-grant permanent fund.